Hello there everybody. I'm just uh, giving you an update on the trailer and uh, I found some good things. I also found a lot of bad things on the trailer but you know that's what happens when you buy a broken down trailer. So um, I'm trying to do this as, cheapy, uh, as cheap as I possibly can and um, I don't want to put a lot of money into the trailer since I only paid a thousand bucks for it but I think I have an idea and I'm going to put it past you. Maybe this is a good idea, maybe it's not. But uh, my goal, my whole goal is just to replace just the rotted wood. And I found some good wood that I can tie into, uh, especially like the 2x4s and stuff. It, you know, again, uh, my earlier videos, I said I'm very surprised that this trailer made it down the road since all of the anchor bolts were rusted off and uh, all the boards that uh, the anchor boards adhered to were rotted. I mean, they were completely gone. And so, so, uh, I'm going to show you exactly, you know, how far I've gotten so far. <laughs> You're going to like this. Look at this. So I, I got the whole back end off of this trailer because all the wood was rotted. And right here, this is the, the back end of it right here. Yeah, it, it's quite a rot, rotted. So I, I'm basically going to take that and um, uh, go ahead and just replace that rotted wood and tie into the existing good wood. Now, if you see here, this is the floor joist. This is some of the good floor joists. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to cut right here, just cut that rotted wood off, and I'm going to tie into it. So I'm probably going to take a 2x4, rip it down, uh, and tie into those existing 2x2s. Okay, and the, the outside, I'm just going to put 2x4s laying on them sides. Um, same thing right here, the board that goes across, uh, along here. And uh, if you look, here's that waterproof membrane. Uh, I've been working on rust proofing this right here. Um, so I'm going to tie into this, work down. Sorry about the mess. Um, tie into that, get me some new anchor bolts. Um, I'm going to, you know, primer this, or uh, go ahead and paint this black so that that rust doesn't spread to that frame. Okay, and, ex you know, right here, same thing. You know, uh, I'm going to take a 2x4, run along here. And along the walls and I'm going to zip you know some um, exterior screws down inside that 2x4 to hold that wall in. You can actually see like right here if I pull that uh, waterproof membrane back right here see there was nothing there holding it up and so I could take the whole wall basically and you know shake it up and down because there's nothing actually holding it. Only thing that's holding this wall together is this and that's it. And beside those cabinets there, and I, I'm afraid that if I was to, you know, take and do anything, you know, that whole thing would just come crumbling down. So, folks, you, you got to really be careful about what you buy. I'm learning that as I'm going along, but I'm not giving up on this particular camper. Uh, I'm going to try my best to fix it. And I think you might like my design I have in my mind right here. <laughs> and some I know some are, of you are going to comment and say, well, you know, five dollars worth of gasoline would fix that problem, but you know. I don't give up on a project, you know, just like you classic car enthusiasts, you have something that looks like a big old pile of rust, but I've seen the human race do some incredible things with with uh, classical cars, and uh, my favorite show on TV is Counts Customs, I love that guy, so anyway, uh, I'm getting off the track here, but I'm going to try my best to tie into this wood, and I'm going to replace the uh, that wood, that just that rotted wood, to do it as cheap as possible. Instead of replacing the whole existing wall, just go ahead and replace the rotted wood and tie into it. Make sure that the uh, uh, the other walls, you know, the other boards that are tied into it are not rotted as well. Stop that, and uh, you know, hope for the best. That's all we can do. That's all I can do, actually. So um, I'm going to keep you updated. I'm going to go up to Lowe's and, and get me some wood. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, tie into that um, and I uh, hope that uh, I get the back end strengthened. I'm going to do the back first and then I'm going to work myself up to the front um, and just replace that rotted wood and the flooring. And uh, also, I wanted to show you this as well. Um, the, this waterproof membrane has some, you know, like some tears in it. Maybe what I can do with that is uh, take some you know, waterproof tape or something like that and uh, go ahead and tape that up or, or go down to Camping World and uh, basically 
uh, get something to you know cover that up so that that water if you're going down the road doesn't splash up on those boards so anyway i got my work cut out for me um so i'll keep you updated uh you guys uh, have a good day and uh, be safe out there okay we know that things are getting a little crazy out there but you know what just take it one day at a time that's all we can do try not to live in the past but live for the day and that's all i'm going to tell you so uh you guys have a nice day be careful out there